in its process of creating the anime through a draft DNA of another anime. In the process, the anime cloning is somatic cell nuclear transfer. The donor cell is taken from the soup's udder and an egg cell is taken from an adult female soup. The nucleus is taken out of the egg cell and the DNA from the donor cell is put in. The cells divide normally and are then placed into another soup mother to give birth to the final baby. Tyler the Soup was the first successfully cloned mammal using this process in 1996. Tetra the rhesus monkey was one of the successfully cloned primates in 1999 using embryo splitting, which causes two animals to be born at the same time with the same genes. their childhood pet and would jump at the chance to have a perfect replica of them. But this theory dictates no matter what you do or how alike they look, the two dogs will never be exactly the same. While the nature side is identical, the nurture will be different. Your age, home, friends, and the people around the dog will all influence how they're raised and their personality. Biodiversity conservation. The goal is to maintain the diversity of genes, species, and ecosystems on Earth. Note is that the conservation of biodiversity means protecting the diver diversity of genes, species, and habitats. Cloning, on the other hand, has the opposite effect, decreasing genetic diversity in the overall population through the passing on only one subset of the alleles, versions of a gene, in the gene pool. Carlos Rodrigo Martins, cell biologist from Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation, states that animal cloning can help beef up zoos collections. It is critical to distinguish between accredited zoos and non-accredited zoos. The Maryland Zoo is accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, which holds its members to very high standards for animal care and conservation activities. While we want our visitors to have an enjoyable day while they visit our institutions, AZA accredited zoos have, have their, as their primary missions to educate people and to conserve wildlife. Cloning is a possible tool in the conservation toolbox, but definitely not an efficient one. The process can be very expensive and may only have limited success in producing viable, healthy offspring with current technology. Cloning is definitely not the easiest or best method to use in conservation. The greatest conservation impacts will come from protecting habitats, decreasing human-wildlife conflicts, and decreasing our collective rate of consumption of products of all kinds. During his investigation, he discovered the potential of cloning technology to play a role in improving the world by disseminating elite genetics. We have made a positive contribution to the dairy industry, the beef industry, the pork industry, the equine markets across disciplines, and now have the opportunity to bring happiness to pet owners. Our animals are healthy and receive high quality care. All of our animals are tended to by highly qualified veterinarians and technicians. Nature produces elite genetics in rare supply and cloning technology allows us to multiply and disseminate those genetics so that they can help breeders favorably impact the health of animals and consumers while preserving our natural resources. Advancements in science are accomplished to benefit human life.